Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from differentiability of functions, right? So here uh, we have to uh, see uh, this problem that is uh, we have to discuss the differentiability of this mod function uh, that is fx is equal to mod of x minus 5 at x is equal to 5, right? So at this point uh, we have to uh, prove or we have to discuss that uh, whether this function is differentiable or not, right? So let us uh, start. So now uh, let us first see the graph of f of x is equal to mod of x minus 5, right? So if we draw the graph, then it looks like uh, this is x, this is y, this is x prime, this is y prime, right? And uh, here we have 0, here we have 5, and here we have 5, right? So the graph of uh, mod of x minus 5 uh, it is uh, like a V or uh, this is the graph of uh, mod of x minus 5, right? So this line is uh, y is equal to uh, x minus 5 and this line is uh, y is equal to minus x plus 5, right? And this is the point uh, 5 comma 0 and this is the point 0 comma 5 right so this v shaped uh, like graph is the graph of mod of x minus 5 so this function intersect uh, x at uh, x is equal to 5 or 5 comma 0 right okay so now we see that uh, the mod function it bends at this point x is equal to 5 right so we have to test the differentiability of this function uh, at this point x is equal to 5. So now uh, let us uh, define f of x uh, as mod x minus 5. So mod of x minus 5 takes the value positive x minus 5 whenever x minus 5 is greater than 0. Right? And mod of x minus 5 is uh, uh, equal to uh, 0 uh, when x minus 5 is equal to 0, right? And mod x minus 5 is negative of x minus 5 whenever x minus 5 is less than 0. So when we solve x minus 5 greater than 0, we'll get x greater than 5. Uh, from here, x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x is equal to uh, 5. And uh, here, uh, x minus 5 less than 0 implies x is less than 5, right? So when x is uh, greater than 5, uh, we have uh, y is equal to a positive, positive x minus 5, right? Which is this line, right? And when uh, x is less than 5, then we have the line y is equal to a negative of x minus 5 that is y is minus x plus 5 right and this is uh, y is equal to minus x plus 5 is this line right so now uh, to uh, prove the differentiability of this function whether this mod function is differentiable or not differentiable at x is equal to 5 uh, we will find out the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative of this function at x is equal to uh, 5, right? So let us find out the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative and uh, uh, we'll see whether both the derivatives are equal or not, right? Now for a function to be differentiable, the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative uh, must exist and they must be finite. Right? And moreover, both the derivatives must be equal. Right? Then we can say that the function is differentiable. Right? So now the right hand derivative uh, of a function, uh, say y is equal to f of x at x is equal to a, is defined by this limit that is limit. Uh, h tends to 0 and we have f of a plus h 
minus f of a divided by h right so here a is uh, 5 a is 5 and y is equal to f of x is mod of uh, x minus 5 right so the limit is limit h tends to 0 here we have mod of uh, x minus 5 right so for x we have uh, a that is a is 5 so we can now write f of 5 plus h minus f of 5 divided by h right so this limit h tends to 0 f of 5 plus h can be obtained by replacing x by uh, 5 plus h so here we have mod of 5 plus h minus 5 and f of 5 is mod of 5 minus 5 and here we have h right so this is limit h tends to 0 and 5 and minus 5 get cancelled so this is mod of minus h minus this is mod of 0 that is 0 and here we have h so this is the limit h tends to 0 mod of minus h can be written as simply positive h this is h so h and h get cancelled so we have limit h tends to 0 1 so this is 1 right so the right hand derivative of f of x that is mod of x minus 5 at a is equal to 5 or x is equal to 5 is 1 so right hand derivative is 1 so now let us find out the left hand derivative so the definition of left hand derivative is limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a divided by minus h right so we can replace a by uh, 5 so we have f of 5 minus h and here we have f of 5 divided by minus h so this is limit h tends to 0 f of 5 minus h can be obtained by replacing x by 5 minus h uh, over here so we have mod of 5 minus h minus 5 and here we have uh, uh, mod of 5 minus 5 and here we have minus h right so we can solve this limit so we have limit h tends to 0 here 5 and minus 5 get cancelled mod of minus h and uh, this is 5 minus 5 0 so mod of 0 is 0 right and here we have minus h so this is limit h tends to 0 mod of minus h is uh, simply h and here we have minus h so h and h get cancelled so we are left with limit h tends to 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 right so the left hand derivative of this function at x is equal to 5 is minus 1 right so viewers uh, we have seen that uh, the right hand derivative is uh, uh, 1 that is positive 1 and the left hand derivative is minus 1 right and we see that although both the uh, derivatives uh, that is right hand derivative and the left hand derivative uh, both exist and they are finite but we can easily see that one is not equal to minus one right so the right hand derivative is not equal to left hand derivative so this function is not differentiable at this point that is x is equal to five right so if uh, uh, the right hand derivative is equal to left hand derivative then we can claim that the function is differentiable but in this case we see that the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative uh, they are not equal so we can uh, safely claim that uh, the mod function is not differentiable at x is equal to uh, 5 right so this is how by making use of the concept of right hand derivative and the left hand derivative uh, we can prove the differentiability or the non-differentiability of uh, functions right and here we can uh, easily see that the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative are nothing but simply limits right